So there's a chapter called Water Hazard in Half-Life 2. I absolutely love this chapter. The high intensity, action packed sequences are always a thrill to go through every time I play the game. As I got more accustomed to the internet, I realized not a lot of people like this chapter. I mean sure, Half-Life 2 isn't the most perfect game ever made, please don't cancel me, but this chapter definitely should rank high in the list of the best chapters, right? I got curious, what exactly is it that is so off-putting about this chapter? What is it that the others don't like and I ignore? I went all over the web seeking out people's opinion and I might have figured it out. But before we take a look at Water Hazard, we need to put in some context and look at the chapter that comes before it, Root Canal. Root Canal starts off on a high note. You've got the Metro Cops chasing you, announcements being made about a miscount, these goddamn scanner bots flashing you, and you've got to haul ass out of there. Going through this chapter for the first time blew my mind away. This game looked so good and played even better. And these water reflections, absolute peak of graphics at the time. So, so far we've got a lot of action and a lot of running away. You take one small break here, but again, you continue. Valve's classic show not tell philosophy, am I right guys? Okay. See the point I'm trying to make is Root Canal is pretty straightforward. 90% of it, I guess, is fast paced. Some of it is very slow down. You shoot a bunch of cops, dodge barnacles, and shoot more cops. Plus see the physics they implemented in the game with this goddamn puzzle. I call this part the second half of Root Canal, the one I'm not a big fan of because a lot of it is spent underground, plus there's so many man hacks here for no reason. Still, the pace is going steady, we're moving closer to Eli's lab. We come across this poor soul in hiding, we get attacked by man hacks, but I ran away. Moving on, we navigate our way through the tunnels and end up in this place which I would say is a hard stop for all the running and shooting we've been doing so far. Just because of this one little thing we need to do, go to the other side, turn the valve and come back. After this, it's steady pacing again till we reach the end of the chapter. Now keep in mind, the only place where we had to stop and do something off track took me 58 seconds. Keep that in mind, it'll be important later on. And I even did that as slowly as I could. Alright, here we are back again at Water Hazard. We've got the airboat, we've got the open waters to do whatever the hell we want and right off the bat this chapter gives off this grand entrance as we leave the tunnel and come out to this open area. And now look, a place that looks unique, might have something interesting in there. After settling down the rowdy residents of this barn, we go up to find some supplies. Alright, this was cool, let's get back to the water. Oh look, just 20 seconds later, we have to stop again. Okay. A puzzle. A physics puzzle. I guess this is cool. How long does this take me? Oh, 40 seconds, got it. Alright, finally, we can get back to the action. Aw oh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Mowing down cops on my airboat. Now this is what I want. Jumps and turns and speeding through the canals. Just amazing. 1 minute 30 seconds later, we need to stop again. Okay. How long will this section of the boat take? Oh, 2 minutes and 30 seconds approximately. Then just over 2 minutes later we have to stop again. This whole section took approximately 5 minutes to complete. Thankfully this time we get some more time on the airboat. Around 4 minutes later before we have to get off and get down from here. But apart from the health and the charger and some supplies there isn't anything important to do anything here. So I won't time this, this can be skipped. And yes, I know, most of the previous sections can be skipped as well, but I'm trying to time those places that are important to do for a new player, someone who doesn't know speedrun strats. Oh, and I love watching this fall down every time. Of course, the only time I ever got stuck here is when I'm recording this video. Anyway, 1 minute 30 seconds later, we reach another stop. You see what I'm trying to do here? Why I'm timing all of this? It's the pacing. 
When you give a player something like an airboat and wide open spaces, even if they're linear, you shouldn't be stopping them at every point you get. I was having fun in the boat, I already shot a bunch of cops in the previous chapter. You know what's cool? Getting shot at from a chopper while you escape on a makeshift boat. I like the jumps, the turns, the mowing down of cops. Not puzzles, not combat sequences that break up the overall flow of the chapter. There's two stops where you literally have to do the same thing. Then there's two puzzles where you have to do the same thing again, but with physics. The chapter does redeem itself by giving you an upgrade midway through, when you get a machine gun planted on the boat. Then you have a way to shoot back without getting off. And you know, the only place where I really like stopping and just taking a look around is this place. I love this place. It's so nostalgic, so calm and soothing, after you clear out the zombie and head crabs that is. Water hazard shines where the boat is involved and gets boring really fast when you have to get off and do something else. You know you have a vehicle waiting for you but you're forced to do stuff that you don't feel like doing. The final battle with the chopper is absolutely fantastic. The setting sun, the beautiful skybox and the intense fight with the chopper, it all adds up to a great conclusion to the chapter. But wait, what do you know? You have to make one final stop. All right, Gabe, I'll play by your rules this time. All in all, I absolutely love this chapter, even including its flaws. Call it a uh, nostalgic bias, but this was the most fun I had in this game when I played it for the first time. Sure, you can make the argument that, but the Coast chapter is basically the same as the Water Hazard chapter. Well, true, but in the Coast levels, the context is different. You're not being chased on the highway, you're going somewhere. The coast is more semi-open world. There's bits and pieces of areas around that you can stop and take a look at. Yes, there are stops in the highway levels too, but those are really simple. They don't feel as long as the canals one. They can be done in a matter of seconds. One thing I can agree on is the canal levels and the highway coast levels are a little too long for their own good. If they were a little shorter, they might have been even more liked by the players. But anyway, this video was just my thoughts about why people think Water Hazard is not a good chapter. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Which chapter do you dislike or like? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.